My name is Conrad Ling and I have this wild idea. We spend so much time indoors being entertained by our devices that as Kiwis we forget that we live in one of the greatest natural playgrounds on earth. I'm going to show you how easy and accessible it is to get out and enjoy New Zealand. Got my pack, sleeping bag, food, and my tent. What else do I need to get out of the business of life and into the outdoors? New Zealand is known for its beautiful, clean, picturesque environment. And how lucky are we to have it right at our doorstep? Camping is a popular pastime in our country and there are so many campsites and stunning locations that are affordable and easily accessible. Don't feel like you have to go far, you'd be surprised how close you probably live to an awesome little campsite. Today I'm here at a place called Anchorage, staying at a Department of Conservation campsite at the top of the South Island in the Abel Tasman National Park. There are around 20 different campsites around here surrounded by white beaches and blue oceans. It's a great place to get amongst it and make some memories. Some of the best memories I have from when I was a kid is going camping with my family. Every year we'd get out of the city, find a cheap campsite and set up for a long weekend. It forced us to work together, communicate, put down our iPods and iPhones and reconnect with each other. Camping is a good way to have a cheap holiday. Although it seems like a lot of work at the time, it's always worth it in the end. Camping is great for children as they get an overload of fresh air, new surroundings, and it forces them to use their imagination to come up with some activities and things to do throughout the day. If you're thinking it sounds too hard to get the family organised or you're not too sure if the kids are ready yet, set the tent up in the backyard and get rid of technology and make a memorable weekend of it. Exercise is a big part of camping. It involves activities like hiking, mountain biking, swimming and fishing. Even getting water and collecting wood are activities that increase your usual exercise, improving your circulation, giving you a better night's sleep and enhancing your health. Back pains, eye strains, muscle aches, headaches and increased risk of heart problems are just some of the results of a stressful lifestyle. Studies have been done which prove that getting out into the outdoors will reduce your stress levels and in turn prolong your life. 